I'm sorry it doesn't make you feel comfortable, but we're here, we're queer, and we're not going away. I'm not waving. But guess what? You don't get to tell me when I can stop speaking. Well, I'm going to. I'm an elected official. You can't do that. So, Mr. Walker, if you're not aware, and I think a lot of people in this room are not aware and have come here just because this is a gay issue, I am proudly the first openly elected lesbian in North Dakota. So that is why I'm not paying any heed to your crap. So whether you're dealing with a country or business or any type of relationship, a club that started, whatever the foundations are, that's going to set the tone and set the stage for basically the entire lifeline, the entire timeline of whatever that entity is. The United States was founded, made for white Judeo-Christian culture. That's what it was made for. We the people, I'm the people, I live in Minot, I have a taxpayer, I am a person. I get to see myself represented on that flagpole. Therefore, everything that we fought for, whether it be you know to free slavery, reconstruction, to end segregation, LGBTQ rights, you know, the equalizing the economy, whatever that may be, there's always been those foundational elements of white supremacy that we've had to fight against to equalize the playing field. That's why even in 2022, we're still dealing with small towns in the middle of this state, in the middle of that state, who I don't want to see a flag. I don't want to see the gay flag flying. I don't want to see that. That's going to you know, turn all my children gay if they see that. If they see that flag, it's going to transform everything. That's why that's still there, because of the very foundations that this country was made on. Every single person is entitled to see themselves represented. We are not some group of people who live in San Francisco or Seattle. We are here. The reason the Republican Party is so hyper-focused on culture wars is because culture is more powerful than policy. Culture is the way that human beings live their lives in society. It's how we perceive the world around us. It's how we interact with others around us. And given the fact that the United States is still over 60 percent Caucasian and that the Republican Party is pretty much homogeneously Caucasian, they're fighting for the majority of cultural rule. That's why when we talk about things like eliminating student debt, well, from a practical perspective, if you forgive 43 million people's loans, you know, all that money that they're paying every month will go into the economy instead of to the banks. But then the arguments will be, well, you took the loan, you should pay it back. But that's metaphorical. It's not tangible. It, that's an idea that does nothing for the economy that you claim to care so much about. But see, that cultural idea keeps people locked down in place. Because as long as you have people who think, oh, well, you, you paid the loan, you shouldn't get it. As long as you have enough people who think that, then the party won't move towards loan forgiveness, therefore keeping everybody strapped. We are your elected officials. We are your brothers. We are your sisters. And don't tell me you're not hatred and anger. That's all I feel. I've had to listen to it for days now, as is the mayor and many of my colleagues. It is unacceptable. This city is big enough for all of us. Me having a flag flying doesn't take away anything from your rights and freedoms. But this is why I rail against the Republican Party so hard. I rail against the Democrats, but they're just standard run of the mill corrupt politicians. You can work with that. You can replace them. But the Republican Party is insane. They're nuts. They're not focused on policy. They don't even want to debate in the 2024 presidential elections. Why? Because of stuff like this. Because of stuff like this. Because while everyone's drowning in debt, while we have real economic issues, Republicans are focused on not letting LGBTQ flags fly. They're focused on banning math books because they have critical race theory references in them. They're focused on eliminating women's access to abortion. This is what the Republican Party is focused on. And this is why I go so hard on them, because we can't afford to let them have more power than they do. We need better Democrats. So we need to get involved.